Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot to Essentials. And uh, in this video, we are going to change a little bit the message that we do have here being returned uh, from the method argument not valid exception. So we are going to do something similar to what we did for resource not found exception. And um, we are going to do a couple changes. Remember, when you are working with APIs, consistency is the key. Now, let's uh, create a new class here. Okay, shortcuts not working. Let's call this class exception, exception details. Okay, so this exception details, it's gonna be the class that will have all these fields because we are going to create a new one and we would like to have the same pattern everywhere. So we are going to change it here and uh, we are going to do exactly the same we do have add data if you want you can change these guys to protected so just replace all and uh, we are going to remove the fields here and we are going to add it here um, extends exception details so when we do this uh, we have this warning right here we can uh, this warning it's about uh, having the equals and hash code we can and here, what does it say? Call super. Oh, but this is not an option here. Yeah, so we don't need the data. We only need the getter. And now, since we are working with super classes, there is something that we need to do here. Add the super class, exception details. Just add at super builder and then we do have to change here at resource not found details as well otherwise our handler will start failing so when you are working with super classes you have to add super builder to all the inheritance three you cannot mix super builder and builder okay so now we have uh, this one let's double check if the rest exception handler is working Okay, it's working. If you want, you can build the project and see if you don't have any exceptions. Okay, I have the project running. I'm gonna stop it. Okay, so now that we do have the proper inheritance tree, we are going to work on the, the next one. That's the validation exception. We are going to create a new class right here. Let's call this class validation exception details. And I forgot how to type details. Okay, so this uh, validation exception details will be a exception details. And we are going to add two fields here. The first one um it will be the field let's call it fields because it can be more than one as we saw uh, here we have two fields in this case and the second one let's add fields message now we do need to do the same thing here super builder and if you want you can also add uh, the getter like what we did here. Let's do exactly the same. Okay, so now that we have the validation exception details, we need to change a little bit our um, REST exception handler because we have a new exception. So let's uh, go there and let's copy this entire method. Now the exception being returned, if we check uh, Postman, if we scroll all the way down, is this one. So I'm gonna copy the method argument not valid exception, and I'm gonna change here. I'm gonna change the response. We are going to import this class. I'm going to change the name, handle, and this name, and here, and I'm gonna just use the name exception. So uh, I'm gonna change this one as well because uh, I'm really bothered about it there you go okay so now that we have this exception which in here and in here 
we have to change a couple things. So the first one uh, is that uh, is not resource not found details anymore. Now we have this class that we just created validation exception details. And after you import this class, keeps the same almost everything. Now the status is not found here, but we need a bad request for here and bad request uh, here. Okay, now we we have timestamp, status, title, detail, developer message. We need two things. So when we are um, getting this exception, if we add SLF4J here from Lombok package, I'm gonna add log.info and we have here inside the exception dot get binary result get field errors because you may have more than one so this will return a list so we do have one here cannot infer because it's uh, let's check here so we do have a super builder uh, oh okay wrong return so let's uh, see the exception here so I'm gonna start my service just running on the bug mode my plugin is figuring me the one that shows what's happening now I am going to postman I will just add the debug line here and as you can see we do have this exception and inside we have errors binary results errors and we do have two values so one is for the url and another one for a name so our goal here is to keep things uh, simple so there are several ways to do it i would do it the, the most simple way just to keep this train training easy I'm going to get both uh, fields and errors and I will just add it to a string. So for example, the fields, I'm going to call, I need this guy right here. So let's add the uh, field errors. We don't need this log anymore. So I'm going to get all the fields inside. So field errors dot uh, string and then map and then field errors get field and then collectors collectors joining and I will just uh, get all the values and I will create a string comma separated with one space after the comma and I will do the same um, but for message so now field errors is a string but this is uh, get the full message and then this default message is the one that's coming from inside whatever you have here and the same thing so now that we have uh, both values we can change uh, our builder a little bit and we can add here fields and the fields message fields message okay now we can restart our application and I'm expecting to see something right here so we click on send and then we have both uh, fields and both messages but uh, I didn't like this uh, detail and the title is wrong so we just change the title let's say field validation error and um, we can change the detail and then we can tell the developers that uh, check the fields below okay so i think uh, this is more like it let's wait until it boots the server we try it again there you go so we have way cleaner uh, message uh, the stack trace doesn't matter that much for whoever is calling your application this way we can keep things uh, a bit more simple 
So this is it. This is everything that I had to tell you in this video. So I see you in the next one. Bye.